Well, here I am in beautiful downtown Alberta, about 30 miles into my run around Utah Lake that I started. So, it was in the 20s, uh, I've been, it's taken me six hours to get here, kind of kind of chilly because uh, uh, getting a little hypothermic and not moving very fast and have some blisters that haven't healed. But I'm making progress. I almost turned back about 10 times. <laughs> Real close, but I kept thinking, you know, once the sun comes up, this is gonna be a lot uh, more pleasant. And sure enough, now that the sun's up around 8 a.m., bright sun, things are, things are improving. And we're at a crossroads here. Route 6 heads up to Eureka up in the Tintic Mountains there, but I will go into the sun now and head towards, uh, well, towards Payson area. There'll be a, a, my breakfast gas station about three miles and uh, see how far I go. Well, here I am in beautiful downtown Goshen, another little town on the south end of Utah Lake, about mile 32 and a half. Not much here, but I did have a little store where I got breakfast. In school, church. From this point on, I'll go on roads and routes that I've never run on, so this should be interesting. I've, I've run down here before. And and got picked up, but uh, now we'll start heading east and and then up heading north to go on the east side of the lake. Oh, it's a traffic jam here in downtown Goshen. Well, I'm finally off the highway where people were driving over 70 miles an hour by me. <laughs> but uh, now I'm, on a, I'm in the farming community of Genola. Just some a rural com community here. Southeast corner of the lake. It's a really hazy today, got an inversion going on. Cold snow, cold air, and then warmer air up above trapping all the Haze in, but hopefully I'll burn out a little later. But can't even see the mountains. <clears throat> I'm in the town of Payson, out in the rural district here, going along a. Uh, railroad that goes diagonally across the valley. You gotta go diagonal because uh, where the Provo River hits the lake, it lake extends way to the east. So um, all the roads just go north and east. Nothing di diagonal. So I'm going along this for a while to save a few miles. So, but here's the I am Payson. My great 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 grandfather was the first mayor of Payson. His name was David Crockett. And that was 100, about 160 years ago. Well, here comes the train. Here it comes. Civilization. I had to go way east and uh, 
long uh, railroad run. Got pretty old. Now I'm in the northern uh, section of uh, Spanish Fork. There's the airport, Spanish Fork, a little Spanish Fork airport. I'm on kind of a, a main, the main street, the industrial area. Closer to the Wasatch Mountains now, Spanish Fork Canyon. I'll be heading north there to Provo, and then we got Timpanogos there in the distance. Uh, All right, all right, I'm in uh, Provo. Uh, <laughs> doesn't look like it, but I'm getting creative with my route here. Got wetlands uh, off to the west that extend to the lake, so there's no roads through there. So there is a um, kind of dirt frontage road along the freeway I-15. So I'll uh, make my way around there and try to keep going. Here's the Provo River. Provo River is the major river that goes into the <coughs> Utah Lake. And it has a trail along it that you can follow all the way up into Provo Canyon. I've run up to the end and down before. Okay, the sun's going down here on my adventure run. I am in North Provo, almost in Orem. You see the uh, Mount Timpanogos there shining in the sun coming down. So I think I have about Oh, 18 miles or so left, and uh, I'll get it done, I think. It's starting to get cold, but I got the warm stuff, and we'll see if I, uh, how long it takes me, hopefully not too long. It's been a long day.